It's dead. It's finished. It's all over. The How European, you that? The European Union's finished. It doesn't work. You know, we just had the honour in Britain of being the first country that rejected membership of it. And, you know, you could be next. It could be Denmark next. It could be Dexit. It could be, I don't know, the Netherlands next. Nexit. It could be Sweden next, which I guess, I, I guess would be Sexit. Um, you know, I mean, you know, the other countries are going to have referendums. They're going to reject this. It's a centralised model of government. It's based on the outdated concept of a customs union. It is wholly unsuited to the 21st century global economy. How sure are you that others will also have referendums and leave the EU? Well, I'm not sure, but I think it's pretty likely. Just look at the opinion polls. Just look at the attitudes in Northern and Southern Europe towards the European Union, the failure of the euro. Mrs Merkel's call last year for as many as possible to come into the European Union. You know, at no level does this work. And the key one is we've all finished up inside a political union without any of us ever voting for it. So what would be your message to the Danish voters right now? We've had the honour to go first. Follow us. Take back your own independence, take back your own democracy, take back your own fishing waters, take back your own pride and self-respect. And let's work towards a Europe where we work together and trade together and we're friends together and we're close together, but not one of political union. I have to ask you one last question. Many people are saying that the only one that will actually benefit from this, those are the people that won't do Europe good, like Putin, people that are, you know, are afraid of uh, a European that stands together. Can't you be fearful of that? Can't you be fearful that if, if the European Union doesn't stand together, if it disappears or if it just, you know, it's weakened, that we won't be able to struggle against, you know, all the challenges what, we what, have? Well, the losers, there are 10,000 people here in Brussels, faceless bureaucrats who are more than David Cameron, the Prime Minister, they'll lose. Uh, the multinationals will lose because they'll face more competition from small and medium-sized businesses. Goldman Sachs will lose, and hurrah to that, many will say. Who's going to win? Well, in my country, ordinary decent people who have seen EU policy cost them jobs, drive down their wages, make it tough for them to get a local appointment with their GP or their kids into local schools. Last Thursday's vote was a victory for the little people, the decent people, against the big battalions of big business and big politics.